ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're potentially going to be playing the best Formula E game on Roblox. It's called IFRR, and let's hit drive for me to show you why this might very well be the best Formula E game on Roblox. And as you can see, they have six tracks, New Zealand, England, USA, Scotland, Poland, another USA track, and Tokyo, Japan, which is also the newest. And I'm going to go check that track out. Let's hit Tokyo, Japan, and let's review it. So as you can see, we're in the paddock of the track. There are some real teams and there are some fake teams, but I'm going to go ahead and start with Mazda because I like the team. So we're now exiting the pit lane, um, and as you can see, this track is custom. It doesn't exist in real life, but still looking quite futuristic, looking quite nice. This game also has uh, attack mode, which you can activate by crossing two points. And if you cross them by the right amount, you will get attack mode, which basically allows you to go faster uh, on the straights, basically have more horsepower for this electric engine and let me show you how this works we just cross those two points and a blue line gets activated to let us know that we now have attack mode enabled on our car let's go ahead and set a hot lap and then we can go explore their other tracks so we're gonna be going ahead and crossing the line in a few moments attack mode didn't last us as much as we would have liked and we now are coming into turn one as we crush on the wall on our first lap this is absolutely amazing but you get the idea of this track i want to go and explore more of their tracks i think this is a pretty cool one but let's go check out some of the tracks and you know what i think next we'll go check out scotland and we're back in this paddock and i think i'll go with mercedes even though just look at my shirt so yeah let's sit in a car and let's go out looking quite nice actually so, oh, they have a, a camber track. Okay, they have a camber turn, reminding of Nordschleife. Anyways, you know what? I kind of like this track. It it seems familiar to me. But hey, overall, I I really like this track. Oh, there's a chicane here. Okay, nice. And if you're wondering why this game still... Oh, while we get attack mode. If you're wondering why this game still has Gen 2 models, well, uh, Gen 3 was announced... Uh, on their YouTube channel. So if you want to go check that out, uh, you can visit their YouTube channel through the game's link in the description. And you know what? I'm feeling like I'm going to set an actual hot lap here. Not too bad, not too bad. It feels like I already know this layout, even though I don't. So yeah, hopefully we'll see Gen 3 cars in this game quite hopefully soon. If they do add them, I'll hopefully make yet another video on this. As we approach this chicane now. Can we make this stick? Yes, we can. That was beautifully done. Beautifully done. And might I add that if you want to take attack mode while attack mode is still activated, you can't do that. You can't add time to it. And we're going to lose attack mode right now. But it's okay since we have finished this amazing lap. That's a 103. I'm sure I can do a 102, but I'm really not gonna try so this was scotland and um let's go check out the next track we're now in warsaw in its paddock let's go again with mazda because why not and let's go out on the track this is a more realistic one i have to say with grass and everything so blue curbs right out of the gate another attack mode which is placed in a different place now this will make you lose quite a bit of time in a race distance but you have to make sure the boost regains you that amount of time anyways i'm feeling like this track is quite flowy i kind of like this track a nice chicane down here oh we flipped okay amazing guys i promise i don't have a skill issue it's just uh yeah uh yeah i do have a skill issue uh anyways <laughs> continue Let's go ahead and try and set a hot lap around this track. But I say try, so I have no idea if we'll ever complete a lap around here based on my skill issue as we crash on the wall. So let's begin our Warsaw lap. Let's break out the 150 meter board. Are we going to make the corner? Yes, we are going to make it. This is a long left now. Our overtake mode is done. 
We make that. We stick the Apex through. Do we get another attack mode? Yes, we do. That's going to give us a huge horsepower boost. 150 again. And that was an amazingly well done corner. Is this going to be the same? No, it's not going to be. We're going to crush on a wall. But I'm not going to abandon this lap yet. As I talk you through every other track this game has. You can see on your screens all the other tracks of this game. Because I can't show you individually one by one. But as you can see, they are really well made as we crash into yet another wall. No big surprise. And yeah, penultimate corner. Hey, this time we didn't crash on the wall. Amazing. Let's go ahead and round up this lap. And yes, we do. That's a 111.5. I'm sure I can do way better if I actually get to practice this. Amazing. Track extending invalidated. But um, yeah, this is basically the game. Um, its tracks are awesome, its cars are awesome, I really like the way they drive, and, you know, to answer my question, to answer this title, I do really think this is the best Formula E game on Roblox. If you want me to review more Formula E games, do subscribe, and I'll catch you in my very next video. Till then, do stay safe, and bye-bye.